Hello and welcome to the West Washington Senator live stream. We're starting off with this second regional matchup of the day. It will be the Lanesville Eagles versus the Vincent Reve Patriots. Um, Langsville won the New Washington sectional against New Washington, and Vincent Gervais won the North Davies sectional against Barry. Um, but neither one of these teams have played each other this year, um, so should be a new matchup here. It'll be interesting to see it when you get two teams that aren't really familiar with each other, see how they kind of choose to attack. Just looking at the rosters, um, Vincent Gervais coming in with three players over six feet tall. Like that could be a challenge for Lanesville as they only have one player who's six foot tall. Yeah, it'll definitely be interesting to see how they try to take advantage of that height if you're Vincent Gervais. And then if you're Lanesville, how do you contest it? Regional 16 this afternoon. The contestants will be the home team on the scoreboard will be the Vince Henry Bay Lady Patriots. And the Vincent King on the scoreboard will be the Lane Bill. The home team on the scoreboard will be Lanesville and the Vincent King will be the Vincent. Just about ready to get underway here. 
We will have 32, Herman jumping for Vincent Treve. And for Lanesville, we will have number 40, Sauter. Herman coming in at 6'3", Sauter coming in at 6 foot. Looks like we are ready to get underway here for this regional matchup as Vincent Gervais controls the tip-off. They immediately um, set up their offense with a bunch of cutting down low. So now we have um, Frey with it, gives it off up top. Herman throws it inside. That shot is no good, blocked away. 32 Anna Herman, Herman couldn't get it to go. And no. now we have 23 Brumley kicking it ahead for Lanesville. Is now um, Lanesville slowing it down a little bit now after looking like they may have tried to push it push it ahead and try to get a quick basket. So now we have Lanesville dribbling the ball around. Ball's on the wing now. They throw right inside, kick out for the three pointer. It is no good. That was 23. Brumley couldn't get it to go. As Vincent Rave gets the ball and will take it the other way. Halter kicks it ahead. Wise now with it. Wise is going to throw a cross court pass to Frey. Now Herman gets it back in for Wise. Wise now gives it back up for Herman. They throw it inside. That pass is going to be picked and taken away by Lanesville as Gordon will bring the ball up the floor. So Gordon now sets up the offense, gives it out onto the wing. And there's a corner three-pointer. It is no good rebounded by Herman. And now Vincent Gervais will take it the other way. And neither team really able to get the advantage here. So now we have Wise with the ball. So far we've seen Vincent Gervais try to throw the ball into the post multiple times already as they definitely have the height advantage in this game. Oh, Almost a travel right there as Halter gets it. Halter gets two screens. Halter gets all the way to the block, puts it away. It's going to be blocked away, tipped by Gordon. And we have Sonner with the rebound, gives it off to Brumley. Brumley brings it up the floor now, stops, gives it off for, for Crossier. Now a good take to the basket, that shot is up and no good. Now the ball's on the ground and we will have a jump ball. We'll go to Lanesville. So four, four cross here will take the ball out of bounds. Cross here throws it up for Gordon. Gordon now throws it right back to the corner. Cross here thought about the shot, kicks it out. Gordon with it, swings on the wing. Rumley looking inside. Now Brumley dribbles in middle, gives it off. Now ball's back for Warner. Now cross court pass for Brumley, has to go up and get it, gives it in the corner. Cross here thinks about dribbling inside, but now gets kind of double teamed in this zone that Vincent Gervais is running. Now cross here gets fouled. Good job drawing the contact right there. And so far we haven't really seen either team able to get any movement or anything really going on offense. They just kind of both been playing some solid defense and stopping any chances at buckets. So cross here with it, gives it off for Brumley. Brumley now gives it off to Gordon. Gordon looking inside, throws it for Warner, kicks it out for a three-pointer. It is no good. Rebounded by uh, Vincent Gervais. Now they take it the other way as we have Holter kicking it ahead. Now Wise with the ball. Nowhere to go with it, throws it up. And now the ball is on the ground and it will be another jump ball. This time we'll stay with, or we'll stay with Vincent Gervais. So now we have Holter to take it out. Halter throws it up for Frey, gives it right back. Halter picks up a corner three. It is good. And Vincent Gervais will be the first team on the board here, leading three to nothing as we pass through the five minute mark. So now Gordon starts to get trapped in the corner, throws it up for one, and she will be fouled. Foul number 32, Anna Herman, number 15 seconds. No, now cross here to take the ball out of bounds. Cross here now gives it right in, gets it right back. 
Puts up a corner three-pointer. It is no good off the rim. Rebounded by Gordon, the offensive rebound. Gordon with the ball in the corner. Throws it on for Warner. Kicks it back out. Gordon with the ball. Gordon looking for the cutters. Cutting to the block of the corner three, and it is no good. Rebounded by Herman. Herman now gives it off to Harper. He pushes it ahead. Frey with it. Frey now takes a couple dribbles, pump fakes for the three-pointer. Now a good bounce pass to Halter, who puts up the shot. It's no good. Made them block away. Now it's controlled by Lanesville. And now Gordon pushes it the other way. Gordon gets inside the three-point line, kicks it out for Crosshair. Crosshair splits two defenders, gets it taken away. Halter with it. Halter now crossing the half court. Gives it off to Wise. Wise throws it in for Harmon. Harmon kicks it out. Pump fake on the three by Frey. Now getting double teamed in the corner, nowhere to go with it. Ball's on the ground. And Lanesville's got it, but it will end up being another jump ball, and this will go to Lanesville. It's now a substitution for both teams. For Lanesville, we have 22 Campbell. Number 22. For Vincent Dreve, we have number 42 uh, Frey. Now Gordon with the ball. Gordon picks up a dribble, gives it into the high post. Warner with it. Good pump fakes, but he's going to have to kick it out for Campbell. Campbell now gives it off for Brumley. They throw it in the post. Warner with it. Kicks it back out. There's a three-pointer by Brumley. It is no good. Rebounded by Frey. And now we have Halter with it. Halter crossing half court. Gives it off to 21 Frey. Now a cross-court pass. Now for Harmon. Kicks it back out. Pump fake on the three. Another cross court pass. That goes through the hands of Frey. Now she tries to dribble inside. Picks up a dribble. Nowhere to go with it. Gives it in the corner. Another cross court pass. And that pass is going to be tipped. And knocked out of bounds. And so far, this game has been a defensive struggle. We only have three total points put up here as we're. A good bit through the first quarter, and both teams will need to look to get more movement on offense if they want to score. Right there we had number 10, Kerr, check into the game, and now Halter's got it for Vincent Reve. Gives it off to Frey. Now there's a mid-range jump shot. It is no good. Offensive rebound. Tries to go up with it, gets it blocked away, as now Gordon takes it the other way. Gordon outside the three-point line. She throws it inside. It's going to be taken away. Halter now brings it up the floor. Halter throws it in the corner for Frey. They throw it down low. That pass is going to be kicked and taken away by Gordon. And now Gordon will push it up the floor. They have numbers. Kick it in the corner. There's a three-point try. And it is good by Kerr. And now tie this game back up. But three to three. So now Langsville putting on some pressure here, trying to get Vincent Reve to throw it away. As we have Frey with it. Frey tries to split two defenders. The ball's on the ground. It's going to be taken away by Warner. And now Campbell brings the ball to the floor. Campbell goes right side. Gives off the handoff to Kerr. Kerr goes back to Campbell. Looking inside. They get it in there for Sonner. She puts up the shot. It's no good, but gets fouled. So we will have 40 Sonner go to the free throw line for two shots. The Sonics first shot is good. So 12 Wise comes back into the game along with Warren Willis. Second shot is up and it is good. Now, Frey will get it. They throw it back to Harmon. Now, Halter's got it. Halter, Halter now splits two defenders, gets it taken away. Sonner with it. Ball's on the ground. And there's a three point try now by Willis. Gets it to go. Willis thought there was no call there as Sonner seemed to get tangled up with our Lady Patriots there. And no foul called, but. 
It's now Gordon for a corner three. It is no good off the rim. Offensive rebound by Warner. She puts up the fadeaway shot. It's no good. Tipped out. Kerr gets the rebound with two defenders on her. And now a foul is going to be called. That foul will be on 44 Herman. So now Gordon will take it out. Gordon throws the bounce pass inside. Ball's on the ground. Might be taken away again. And it is Willis with it. Willis dribbling it up the floor. Now stops and gives it off for Halter. Halter guarded by Kerr. Under a minute to go in this first quarter. Halter goes left. Gives it off for Wise. Wise puts the ball on the ground. Puts up a shot. No good. Ball on the ground again. And this time Gordon gets it. Gordon now kicks it ahead for Kerr. Kerr takes a few dribbles down the sideline. Moves the ball. Goes out of bounds. Will be Vincent Jose Ball. Now 23. Brumley comes back into the game. So now Vincent Gervais with the ball, Lanesville putting on a little bit of pressure here, Halter gives it off for, for Wise. Wise now with the cross court pass to Frey, it's almost taken away. Frey now gives it off for Wise, Wise puts up a three pointer, it is no good. Brumley with the rebound and Brumley will now push it up to four, 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Kerr step back, corner three, it is no good, may have been blocked right there. Vincent Gervais has come out here with some stellar defense, putting the pressure on Lanesville and not letting them get too many open shots. So now McGuire comes in for Vincent Gervais. Now Brummer with it, puts up a three-pointer off the inbound, gets it to go. Now with just five seconds to go in the quarter. Halter picks up her dribble. Wise now with it with one second. Puts up the half court shot. It is no good. And that will be the end of the first quarter where Lanesville leads 8 to 6. You're listening to West Washington Center live stream. We'll head to a commercial break. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849. Two six seven zero. And we're back. Game ready to start the second quarter here. Lanesville Lady Eagles leading over the Vincent Bay Lady Patriots. It's been a close game, a defensive battle so far. Both teams playing with intensity. And we'll look to get this second quarter going here in a little bit. So it will be Vincent Gervais ball coming out of the break. Wise will take it out. Lanesville putting on some pressure. Wise throws it right up for Herman. Herman gets it, gives it right back to Wise. Wise now throws it in the corner for Willis. Willis throws it inside for, for Wise. Wise can't handle it. And now Rumley with it. Rumley now pushes it up the floor herself. Hands it off to Crossier. Crossier now looking for somewhere to go with the ball. He's not going to dribble back out, give it off to Campbell. Campbell looking inside, dribbles right side, gives it off to Drumley. Drumley now throws it right away, Willis with it. Willis goes all the way to the basket and can't get the layup to fall. Good rebound right there by Campbell. Now Campbell will take it the other way quickly. Campbell with the ball up near the logo. Campbell gives it off for Crossier. Crossier throws it inside for Warner. Warner step back, jump shot is up and good. Making it a 10-6 game. Now Wise with it in the middle of the floor. And it has it tipped and taken away. Warner crossing half court. Takes it up a minute into this second quarter. And Warner getting some good plays back to back. There's a three. That'll be slightly off. 
There's an offensive rebound as Campbell came flying in to get the tip. So now Crossier with it, gives it off for Brumley. Brumley bounce pass into the high post, Warner puts up the shot from the elbow and gets it to go. And now a timeout will be called by Vincent Gervais as they now trail 12 to 6. Will just be a 30 second timeout. It looks like Lanesville's kind of found their groove, getting a few more shots to fall, and quickly taking advantage, opening up a six point lead to start this second quarter. Lanesville now playing really aggressive defensively as they put on the press and forced a bunch of turnovers. And I think that's what you kind of have to do when you're at this kind of height disadvantage is just be aggressive and not let many passes be made to where they can take advantage of their height. Here will be Vincent for Bay Ball. And we'll have Halter inbounding the ball here. Halter just gives it off for Herman. And now Halter will try to bring it up herself. So now Halter crossing half court. Gives it off to Frey. The Lanesville Lady Eagles are coming up to meet them so far. Crossier all over. Gets the steal. Now Crossier dribbling up the floor. Gets it in the paint. A foul will be called. I'll be on 22 Halter. So now we have 21 Frey coming back in. And key to point out here, the Lensville Lady Eagles have not had a foul called on them yet. There's a three-pointer by Campbell. It is good. It's now Herman with the ball. Herman gets it off for Halter. Halter throws it ahead for Frey. Frey throws it in the middle for Wise. Wise dribbles it up the floor, puts it up, and gets it to go. Great play there by Wise. So now we have Gordon with the ball on the right wing. Gives it back up for Crossier. Now Campbell with the ball on the left side of the floor. Gives it back to Crossier. Bounce pass inside for Warner. Goes in the corner. Campbell puts up another three-pointer. It's good. Two crazy bounce passes there to get that open three. And we got a steal hit by Warner. She'll bring it up and oh. it's gonna be taken away by Willis. Willis now throws it up and that almost is taken away as Wise gets it. Wise brings it up the floor, puts up the lip, and can't get it to fall, but will get fouled and go to line for two shots. Warner playing some aggressive defense there on back-to-back -back plays, but that turnover may be a bit costly. So Wise at the line for two shots. Ten point game right now. First shot is no good. Substitution 23 Drumley comes back. So Wise with one more shot. Chance to get it down by nine. It is also no good. Rebounded by Sonner, gives it up for Crossier. Crossier brings it inside the three point line, gives it off to Brumley. Crossier puts up a three pointer, it is no good. Rebounded by Willis. Willis now throws it up for Wise. Wise ends up getting it off the tip. Now Willis bringing it up the floor, has to stop. Crossier all over, gets the steal. And now Campbell's going. Campbell gives it off. Warner with a pump fake, dribbles inside, kicks it out. Now, Brumley thought about the corner shot, gives it inside Warner, bounce past the center, and the light's good. Now we have a full timeout called by Vincent Reve. So you're listening to West Washington Center live stream. We'll head to a quick commercial break. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, 
a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. And we're back. About 4.42 left here to go in this second quarter. And we've got Waynesville leading 20-8 over Vincent Rivet. And what we've seen so far here is both teams playing pretty good defense. The Waynesville with their movement, they've broken open this game, doing good open shots, getting everyone involved, and then they've also been able to score some off of turnovers. Playing aggressive defense, as we'll have a pass into Herman, who will give it back to Halter. Halter bringing it up the court, but he's met quickly. Gives out to Wise, who will drive in. And Wise will draw the foul here. Sonner is it the one that appears to have fouled her. So we have Wise now at the free throw line. Her shot is up and good. Sonner will head to the bench. So now Waz with one more shot chance to make it a 10 point game. Shot is no good, rebounded by Gordon. So now Gordon pushes ahead for Crossier. Crossier goes left side, gives it off for Campbell. Campbell back out to Crossier. Crossier dribbles right side now, trying to penetrate this zone as Gordon gets it back outside. Campbell thought about the three, gives it off for Warner, bounce pass aside for Gordon and gets away to go. And this movement has been key for Lanesville. They have been putting the ball all over the court. And there's yeah. a steal by Lanesville. Gives it off to Gordon in the short corner. Gordon throws it inside for Warner. Warner now gets a double team. They get it out. Gordon with it. Under four minutes to go in this first half. Now Kassir tries to drive inside. Kicks it back out. Rumley with it into the corner for Campbell. Campbell now kicks it back out. Now Campbell gets it back in the corner, looking inside. Lanesville now taking it slowly right here. Swung in the corner, the three-point try. It is no good by Campbell. to be out of bounds and will stay with Lanesville. So now Kassir to take the ball out of bounds. Lanesville up by 13. It's now Gordon throws it into the corner. We have Campbell with it. Campbell gives it off to Kassir in the corner for Brumley. Brumley throws it inside for Gordon. Gordon looking somewhere to go. Kicks it back out. Kassir goes right side. They're going to say a double dribble is called. Got the Lanesville, number 10, Kerr coming back in. So Wise, take it out, gives it right in for Har Harmon. Now they kick it ahead. Herman puts up a three-point try. It is no good. Rebounded by Gordon. Gordon pushing it ahead. Gordon now throws in the corner for Kerr. Kerr kicks it back out. Rumley with it. Now back in the corner. Kerr puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. An air ball. Rebounded by Herman. And now we have Paul to bring it up the floor. Gives it off for Frey. Frey tries to split two defenders in. It's going to be thrown away. Gordon now bringing it up to the court. Crossing half court, and she's going to throw it away. And now Vincent Rivera will try to slow it down a little bit here. Alter now gives it off to Frey. Frey throws in the high post for Herman, kicks it back after Wise. Wise goes left side, puts up the shot. It is no good. And it will be an offensive rebound. They throw it straight into Wise, puts up the shot. It's going to be blocked, and a jump ball will be called. And Wise was met right there by Warner. She was ready for that shot at him, and she said, no, no, not today. So now Willis comes back into the game. Mines go up by 13. So now Crossier bringing the ball to the floor. Crossier gives it off for Kerr. Kerr gives it right back. Pass fake into the high post. 
Now Garcia goes right side, gets in the paint, kicks it out. Three point try on the way. It's no good. Another air ball. This time by Brumley. It will be Vincent Gervais ball. Now Langsville putting on their pressure. Halter throws it ahead and a foul's going to be called. Foul's on 32, Herman. Just a bit too aggressive there trying to get open. Now substitution as number 30, McGuire come, comes into the game. And Herman doesn't look too happy with that foul call. Now we have Brumley with the ball in the corner, kicks it out for Kerr. Brumley gets it back, goes in the corner for Sear Pump Fake, drives inside, bounce pass inside for Warner, puts it a shot, no good. Offensive rebound goes up again, no call. And now the ball is loose. And a jump ball will be called, and it will stay with Lanesville. Actually, now they will show the Vincent Gervais ball. And we'll see Lanesville in a press here as they look to force the turnover and maybe get the ball right back. So now Halter gets through the press, crossing half court. Gets a screen from Herman, gives it off to Wise. Wise puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. An air ball out of bounds will be Lanesville ball. Now it's a very deep three-pointer there to be attempting, but it would be Langeville ball as they look to get something done here again. So now across here, taking the ball across the floor, gives it off to Kerr on the left side of the floor, gives it into the corner now. Warner with it, kicking it back out. There's now Brumley with the ball up top. Brumley gives it off to Kerr. Kerr pass takes inside. Now if Warner trying to go baseline and does, Tries to throw it inside to Gordon, kicks it back out. Three on the way, it is no good. He'll be out of bounds and he'll be Lane's for the ball. It's now across here, take the ball out of bounds. Across here, throws it in, right here for Warden. So now we have Chris here with it. Throws it in the high post for Gordon. Gordon steps back out. Didn't see the defender behind her, and a jump ball will be called. Both teams forcing a lot of jump balls. That just shows how aggressive both have been trying to get the ball and forcing steals. You no, get tipped there. Be tipped, and now Wise is going to take it the other way. And that pass, that's not going to be taken away, and then Wise is going to get called for the foul. It looks like Crossier may be down after that hard call there. That'll be Wise's first foul. So Cross here now sitting on the bench. Will be a one and one at the free throw line. Campbell will shoot the free throws. Campbell's shot is up and it is good.
Campbell with one more shot. He is good. Under 50 seconds to go in the half. Vincent is there with the ball as Halter now gets it. Halter with the ball on the right sideline. Picks up a dribble looking for somewhere to go. Gives it off to Herman at the last second. And now Willis with it, gives it off for Halter. 30 seconds to go in the half. Halter is gonna go left side. Stop. Um, gives a double team then a foul is gonna be called on Gordon, I believe. Actually, now they call on Campbell. And Coach Hinton for Lanesville seemed to be arguing that was a jump ball, but ref rules that he had her hands on. So now Herman gets the inbound pass. And now Halter gets it back to 20 seconds to go in the half. Halter near half court. Gives it off onto the wing. Now looking for Willis cutting through. It's going to be taken away. Kerr throws it ahead for Warner. Warner puts up the shot. No good. Offensive rebound by Drumley. Kicks it out for Campbell for the three-pointer. No good. But with one second, the offensive rebound is up and no good. And that will be the end of the first half where Lanesville is up 24-9. to nine. Yeah, and had three straight attempts to try and grow that lead a little bit more going into the half, but couldn't quite get the fall. Will sell for the 15 point lead. One thing that Vincent Gervais is going to have to do better to get back into this game is just take care of the ball. They've had a lot of turnovers off of Waynesville's aggressive defense. Yeah, and both teams playing with a lot of aggression. We'll see how they try to keep that up and how it fares for both of them. Okay, so we will head to a couple of commercial breaks and then we'll come back to some halftime stats and the second half. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. When you hit that water, you're going to want to look for weeds, sunken structures, down trees, stuff like that. And let that breeze tell you where you want to go. Windy days like this, those bait fish will come swimming closer to shore. They'll bring the big boys with them, those bass and those pike. And they like cooler temperatures, so you ain't likely to have much luck. You're good at giving fishing advice. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. 
We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Bob Lovell. This is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. And Paul, we are in championship mode as we speak uh regional round for girls basketball swimming diving wrestling um this is a busy busy time for everyone and an exciting time for everybody involved it is it is uh you know just met with the staff this morning coach and you know we're just they're they're sitting there and they're tweaking this and tweaking that and solving you know <laughs> right a uh, little problems along the way you know you know you think about it, it's a, it's a pretty big undertaking that that you march 407 schools through four levels of the tournament to get them to the the crescendo when they can celebrate a state championship so there's a lot of excitement here you know i uh you know, it's, it's, it's a good time of year to be in Indiana and celebrate student-athletes. Well, it really is. And, and I also think, and I, we've talked about this, I think, before, but uh, I remember many, many years ago when I was in high school, you wouldn't ha- you didn't have girls' regionals, sectionals. You didn't have girls' championships. And this time of year and the 50th anniversary of Title IX, sometimes we lose sight of all the things that were done and all the people who did great things and laid the foundation for these young ladies in this generation to be able to have the opportunities they have. Yeah, and that's exactly right. You know, we uh, did an interview with a, a, a younger athlete here recently, and, you know, the, the message that that younger athlete was, and they were, they were uh, rightly so a little not as versed in Title IX. But then I got to thinking about that. Isn't that a wonderful thing that we have a girl that grew up in participation that just participated and didn't have to worry about not having access to sport like uh, people did years ago. And, you know, we can always get better, and we always will. But, uh, you know, the fact that 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 student athlete was able to participate in a world and in a country like ours and and really didn't feel the effects of of, uh, not being able to participate like her uh, predecessors did years ago. We're talking with the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Nighting. And Paul, we mentioned, so you're embarking, as you uh, noted, wrestling, swimming, regional uh, basketball for girls. All of these um, are held at some of the greatest venues in the country. And we've talked about this multiple times. But it's an added bonus. If you're a student athlete in the state of Indiana, when you get to the championship level of your sport, you're going to be competing in world-class facilities that world-class athletes have used. And uh, I think that uh, another reason why the IHSA stands out in its uh, championship opportunities for men, for boys and girls. Yeah, you know, Bob, we're so fortunate. And I've said this all along and I'll always say this. We're fortunate to be in Indiana. It's just a... It's an yep. incredible place to live, to grow up, and to celebrate. You know, we've we've not been called the amateur sports capital of the world for um, no reason. And, you know, as I walk into the notorium on Saturday or Friday night and watch student-athletes um, participate on the campus of, of IUPUI, and I look up on that wall, and I see those great Olympians that have walked through that building and their mm-hmm. way to winning mm-hmm. Olympic gold, you know. Uh, incredible facility, incredible place to show states their skills, and then we simply jump right out of that. Then we go to Game Bitch Field House, the home of the Pacers and the Fever, and we're going to we're going to pack that 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 field house from the floor to the ceiling with people that want to be fans of wrestling, and it's an incredible event. And you know we're going to do that on Friday and Saturday next week, and. You know, again, it's we get to do it. Our kids get to do it in first class, world class venues. 
So have you uh, arranged for the weather to be better this week than it was last week? Or we're counting on you to, to make that happen for us. Coach, I always put a call in to old Mother Nature. I, <laughs> I put my request in early. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes that uh, I've been lucky with that request. I get what I ask for. And other times, you know, other things take priority. And, you know, so those kids wanted a snow day and they wanted to go sledding down a hill. So that took priority last weekend. But we figured out a way to get through it all. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers, unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. And we're back. Game ready to start this third quarter here. Blazers are leading 24 to 9. Titans, what have you seen so far in this game? Um, Lanesville has been very aggressive defensively and forced lots of turnovers, leading the points. And for Lanesville, Campbell's got eight points, Kerr has got three points, Gordon has two, Brumley has three, Sonner has four, and Warner has four. For Vincent Gervais, Halter has three, Wise has three, and Willis has three. And something I've seen is Lanesville gets everyone involved on offense. It feels like every possession, every girl is touching the ball. I mean. And one thing to note for Vincent Gervais, neither Mary Herman or Anna Herman, the 6-1 and 6-3, um, that neither one of them scored this game. They try to get them the ball early as they try to get the ball to him right there and they can't get that way up to go as Gordon gets the rebound and will take it the other way. So Gordon throws ahead for Brumley, thought about the quick three. Brumley takes it out, gives it off for Crossier who's back in the game after suffering an injury earlier and she gets that shot to go. Her first two of the game. So now Frey with the ball. Bray gives it back to Herman. Herman now gives it off to Halter. Halter brings it up the right side. Halter now being kind of double teamed a little bit there. Halter now pass takes, gives it off to Bray. Bray steps up, goes in for Wise. Wise dribbles left side, tries to put up a shot and will be fouled. And you talk about earlier about how Vincent Gervais has been able to use this height to their advantage. A good piece for Lanesville has been Sonner on defense. She just plays with good technique, which is able to beat that height more often than not. So now Wise with the ball in the corner, kicks back out for Frey. Frey gives it off for Halter. Halter guarded by Crossier. Halter goes left side, gets inside the three-point line, kicks back out for Frey. Frey stops. Throws it inside and it will be thrown right out of bounds. So Lanesville will not bring the ball to court to see her with it. Cross here looking left side, now he's going to go back right. Throws it in the corner for Gordon. Gordon picks it back out. Cross here gives it off to Brumley now, Warren with it. Warner looking inside, gives it in the high post area for Gordon. Gordon kicks it out across here for the three-pointer. It is no good off the rim. And an offensive rebound there as Warner goes in and gets it. Brumley gets it, gives it right back. Warner drives baseline, puts up the shot. It's going to be blocked away by Herman. And now Frey gives it off to Halter. Halter is now going to bring the ball to the floor. Halter stops, gives it off to Frey. Frey being guarded by Crosser. Tries to go around and gets into the paint. Good bounce pass to Herman. He just can't hold on to the ball. Herman is beside herself after missing on that catch there. Looked like she had a chance for an open bucket. 
So now Kassir brings the ball to the floor up 26 to 9. Two minutes to get two minutes gone in this third quarter. Kassir looking inside, gives it off to Grumley. Grumley goes to Warren in the corner. Warren gives it right back. Grumley throws it off for Gordon. Gordon in the short corner gives it off to Sonner, puts up the shot. It can't get it to go. Will be rebound by Sonner, but a foul is called be an offensive foul. So now it will be Vincent Jose Ball. Wineville still putting on their pressure. Willis comes up and gets the ball. Now it gives it off for Frey. Frey throws in the middle for Halter. Halter now dribbles it up the right side. Now gets the double, double team that gives it off to Frey. Frey pump fakes, throws off to Willis. Willis picks up a three pointer. It is no good. Rebounded by Cressier. And now Cressier will push the ball up the floor. Crossing half court. Picks up a dribble, really with nowhere to go. Throws it off for Warner, who throws inside for Sonner. Sonner turns, picks up the life, and gets it to go. Good move there, there by Sonner to get it over the 6 3 Herman. Now Herman gives it off to Willis. Willis now is going to bring it up to Ford. Gets inside, ball is knocked out of bounds. Will stay with Vincent Reve. Now a 30 second timeout will be called by Vincent Jose as they trail 28 to 9. Yeah, and they really have trouble doing anything to go on offense. I mean, haven't been able to attack the paint much even with their height advantage. And then they also just haven't been able to hit open shots a lot of the night. So. Vincent Gervais definitely needs to start trying to take care of the ball better and chip away at this lead as they can't really score if they don't even get any shots at. That is true, and I mean, let's not take away, Lanesville has been playing outstanding defense. They played with good technique and they played aggressive. Being able to be aggressive while not foul, it's been a key part of why they're winning this game so far. So now Wise will take the ball out of bounds. Wise throws it off to Halter. Halter up top. Gives it off to Frey. Frey throws it inside for Wise. Wise now throws it down with the Harmon and it's out of bounds. It will be Vincent's Revee ball. So now Halter taking it out. Gives it off to Frey in the corner. Braves going to try to go baseline, gets cut off, now gives it back off to Halter. Halter throws it off to Willis. Willis now hands it off to Halter. Halter up near half court. Now throw it inside wide, puts up the mid-range jumper. It's no good, rebounded by Sonner. Sonner now almost got fouled right there. Gives it off to Gordon. Gordon now will bring the ball to the court. Gordon throws it ahead for Brumley. Brumley gives it off to Warner. Warner picks it out to see for the three-pointer. It is no good off the offensive rebound for Gordon. Gordon with the ball in the corner. Gordon's going to put up the mid-range jumper. No good. Will be rebounded by Vincent Gervais. And a foul is going to be called. Foul is on Herman right there. And now um, 44, Mary Herman comes in for 32, Anna Herman. And we'll have Crossier taking the ball out here. Crossier now throws it up for Gordon. Gordon gives it off. Brumley puts up a three-pointer. It is good. Off the bounce. I mean, any way you can get it. So now Willis with it, throws it ahead. It's going to be picked off by Gordon and a travel will be called. So Vincent Ray throws it right in for Herman. Herman will give it off for Wise. Wise tries to go baseline and now throws it to Willis. It's going to be kicked and taken away. Gordon with it. Gordon takes up the sideline and that's going to be a carry. That's back-to-back -back turnovers here by Lanesville. And Vincent Rivet will have to find out how to do something after Gingy's. 
turnover. So now Wise with it, throws it up for Herman. Herman puts up the shot and can't get it to fall. And still neither one of the Hermans have been able to put up any points yet. As now Saunders got the ball in the short corner, throws it over for Brumley, kicks it in the corner. Gordon with it, throws it in the high post area. Warner puts up a shot, no good. Rebounded by Frey for Vincent Gervais. And now Halter brings it up the court. Halter with the ball, gives it off to Frey. Now in the short corner, Herman puts up a shot, it's no good. Rebounded by Brumley, and now a foul is going to be called. That was on one Willis. And you know, we've seen both of the Hermans with open looks. They haven't been able to have the concentration to finish inside a lot of time. Number 22, Campbell just checked into the game. As she gets the ball right here. Campbell gives it off for Brumley. Campbell gets it back. Now throws it up for Warner, and it's kicked right down for Sonner who gets a layup to go. That was a pick of a tip by Warner, though, knowing exactly where Sonner was, I guess. That's going to be another turnover as now Warner with the ball brings it up. Gives it off for Brumley now. Kassir throws it in the high post. Warner with it. Warner kicks it out. Kassir puts up a three-pointer. Good. And now uh, we have Halter with the ball. Halter drives right side, gets all the way to the block, puts up the runner, and gets it to go. Halter now has five points on the game. Brumley kicks it ahead for Kassir, and is going to be fouled by Halter. So now we'll be Waynesville balls. They lead 36 to 11. So now Sonnen throws it inside Warren, puts up a shot, it will be an and one. That will be Herman's second foul. That free throw is up and no good, rebounded by Herman. Now Frey will bring the ball up the court. Frey gives it off to Wise. Wise throws it in for Herman. Herman throws it up to Wise and it's going to be taken away again. Sonner with it, gives it off to Brumley. Brumley now kicks it ahead, Kassir with it. Kassir gives it off into the corner. Now a cross court pass, Brumley ends up with it. Brumley goes in the high post now, Sonner with it, kicks it out for Campbell. Campbell stops, puts up a three-pointer, it's no good. Long rebound, Frey ends up with it, ball is up in the air. Frey still has it, gives it off to the other Frey, and now she'll bring the ball off the floor as 21 Kennedy Frey with it. Frey stops, kicks it out, there's a three-pointer, it is no good off the rim, and it just will go out of bounds and be Lensville ball. We'll see McGuire come in for Herman. So now Campbell with the ball in the backcourt. Vincent Treve trying to trying to press and force some turnovers as Halter picks up a foul. Now substitution 15, Gordon comes back in. Coming in for 22, Campbell. And Halter, the senior, has four fouls for Vincent Gervais right now. She stays in the game with a minute, over a minute to go in this third quarter as Brumley gives it off for Gordon. Gordon goes in the corner, Sonic puts up the mid-range jumper. It's no good, rebounded by Halter. Halter now pushing it the other way. Going to go left side, put it up with the left hand, no good, will be fouled, and go to the free throw line. So Halter at the free throw line for two shots. He is good, giving her six points on the game. As Tim Kerr comes into the game 
And number one, Lewis comes in. We'll also see what Bill checking his song right out. It'll be interesting to see how if Vince and Javera wants to put in some height to take advantage of that. That second free throw is also good. Now Chris here gives it off for Warner. Kerr now with it. Kerr kicks it ahead and that's going to be tipped and saved by, by Willis. And now good bounce pass inside that gets kicked. Almost had the perfect pass right there to Gordon for the way up, but it got kicked out of bounds. Now Kassir throws it in for Brumley. Brumley kicks it over for Kerr. Kerr picks up the three-pointer. It's good. Kerr now with six points off two threes. Halter now gives it off to Wise. Wise throws it in the middle for Frey. Frey stops. Pump fakes a good bounce pass, bounce pass to Wise. He can't get the layup to go. And that's been the problem for Vincent Rivera a lot of the night is they get open layups and they just don't make them. Kassir can't get that to go. Wise with the rebound gives it off for Willis. Willis brings it up the left side of the floor. Gets double teamed. Gets out of it. Gives it off to Wise. Wise kicks it across to Frey. Frey with the pump fake and now shoots this three. It's no good. Rebounded by Gordon. Ten seconds to go as Kerr uh, gets, gets it out in front and gets the layup. Now Willis gives it up for Wise. Wise from half court and it will be no good. And that will be the end of the third quarter where Lanesville is out in front 43 to 13. You're listening to West Washington Senator live stream. We'll be back after this commercial break. When you hit that water, you're going to want to look for weeds, sunken structures, down trees, stuff like that. And let that breeze tell you where you want to go. Windy days like this, those bait fish will come swimming closer to shore. They'll bring the big boys with them, those bass and those pike. And they like cooler temperatures, so you ain't likely to have much luck. You're good at giving fishing advice. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. And stop knocking on wood. Didn't do it when Cuthersville was getting beat. Or at least they didn't on free throws. I think they may have a little bit. I don't know the exact. We chose West Washington because of the academic excellence to help prepare me to be a doctor. We chose West Washington because of the quality of our athletics and because of the championships we've won. We chose West Washington because once you step into these walls, you're family. Getting ready to start this fourth quarter here. Lanesville's leading 43 to 13 over the Vincent's Revay Patriots. It'll be Lanesville ball coming out. As Kassir crossing that court gives it off for Kerr. Kerr now being guarded heavily by Halter. Halter has four fouls. Kassir gets into the paint, kicks it back out. Corner three is on the way. It is no good off the rim. Rebounded by Frey for Vincent Gervais. And now Halter with it pushes it ahead for Wise. Wise with the Euro step, puts up a shot, can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, puts it up and will be fouled and goes line for two shots. And that's aggressiveness there by Wise. She's been pretty aggressive for most of this game, driving out to the paint. Oh, She'll shoot her first of two. That shot is good. 40 Sonner comes in for 10 Kerr. Second shot is up and it is good. Wise now at five points. Now Kassir gives it off to Gordon. Gordon gives it in to Warner now. Warner kicks it out. Three pointer on the way. It is no good. For an offensive rebound. Gordon with it. 
Gordon throws it in for Sauner. Sauner kicks it out. Open three in the corner is good by Kassir. Now Halter bringing it up, gives it off to Wise. Wise trying to go down the sideline. Gives it off for Frey. Frey with the pump fake. Now a crossbow pass goes straight to Gordon. I'm not really sure what Frey was thinking there with that pass. And Gordon looks to be the only one in the vicinity. As Gordon will check out after that turnover. It's now Halter with the ball. Halter crossing half court, guarded by Kassir. Gives it off to Frey, puts up a deep three pointer. It is no good. Rebounded by Warner, gives it off to Brumley. Brumley now gives it off to Campbell, who will bring it up. Campbell kicks it ahead. And now Sauna with the layup, and will be an and one. I'll be wise second pound. And now number two early comes into the game for Vincent Reve. So Sonner at the free throw line for one shot. It is up and it is good. Sonner with 11 on the game. It's now early with the ball. Ball being knocked out of bounds will stay with Vincent Reve. It's now Frey to take it out. He's going to throw it in to Kennedy Frey. Now Wise with it. He's going to go left. Kind of loses the ball. Sonner with it. Sonner will be fouled. Mm. Looks like that will be Wise's third foul. Now Sonner will go to the free throw line for a one and one. And that's the second time in consecutive plays that Wise has sent Sonner to the ground. Looks like he's feeling the effects of that one. And now 32, Anna Herman comes in for 12 Wise. Missing the front end of the one and one right there. It's now Halter with it. Halter gets a good screen, throws it over for Frey, puts up a three pointer. It is good. As Candy Frey gets her first points of the game. And now Brumley with it, kicks it in the corner for Sonner. Sonner kicks it back out. Kassir with it. Kassir goes off to Campbell. Campbell gives it back to Kassir, he splits two defenders, bounce pass to Sonner. Sonner with it in the corner, tries to look inside for Warner, but now kicks it out and a timeout will be called, will be a 30 second timeout called by Lanesville. So now we have Lanesville up by 31 points here, under six minutes to go in the game. And what do you do here if you are Vincent Reve? Well. I'm not really sure what you try at this point. You haven't been able to hit a lot of your open threes. And then the height mismatch, which they've had all game long, they just haven't been able to use because their big ladies aren't getting their shots to fall once they get in the paint. You gotta you got be able to execute somewhere if you can't hit the three and you can't get inside. Maybe try some mid-range shots. Maybe that's where their sweet spot is. I don't know. It's definitely... Not an easy dilemma to have. So will be Lanesville ball coming out of the timeout. Campbell gives it in the back backcourt to Kassir. Kassir goes off for Brumley. Kassir now getting it back, goes inside, kicks it out for Warner. Cross court pass, mid range jump shot is good by Brumley. Now early with it, gives it back to Halter. Alter gets double team now, kicks it ahead. And now they throw it in the corner for Frey. Frey with the pump fake, kicks it back out. Alter goes right, gives it off to Kennedy Frey. 
She tries to go right side. Stops, puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. Battle for the rebound will be out of bounds off of Waynesville. It's now Hawthorne to take it out. Throws it right inside and the easy layup right there for Frey. All right, kick it ahead. Brumley with it. Under five minutes to go now. Casier with it. Throws it into the corner. Now a cross court pass here. Kicks it into the corner. Campbell with the three pointer. It is dead. Good shot there Campbell. by Campbell. Campbell now with 11 points. Fry now puts up a deep three pointer. It's no good. Rebounded by Brumley. Brumley gives it off to Campbell. Campbell goes back to Brumley. And now Campbell's got back. Throws it to Casier across the middle. Casier stops. Thought about the shot and now Campbell with it. Campbell throws it off for Brumley. Brumley goes to the corner now, won it with it. Cross court pass to Campbell, takes it to the corner. And now Kassir gets it, throws it off to Campbell for another three pointer. It's no good. Rebounded by Fry. Now Fry gets it off to Halter. Under four minutes to go. Halter goes to Fry. Fry looks inside, gives it off to Herman and gets that way up to go. And now we have Brumley with the ball on the left wing, gives it back out to Campbell. Now Kassir with it, back to Campbell, back to Kassir. Kassir drives inside, bounce pass inside. That shot is good by number 32, Shelby Allen. Now a foul is going to be called. Now three substitutions for Lanesville. We have 15 Gordon, 10 Kerr, and we also have number 12 Schneider. It's now Halter with the ball to Vincent Gervais. We can get a cross on balls in the corner. There's a cross court pass. Gray puts up a three pointer. It is no good. Battle for the rebound, and Vincent Gervais ends up with it. As there's a mid range jump shot. It's no good by Gray. She gets it again, misses it again, and Gordon gets the rebound for Lanesville. And it just looks like they're hurrying a lot of their shots. I mean, not being set. And As that Allen gets the layup right there. Now Frey with it, goes inside, bounce pass for early, it's blocked away by Gordon. Now Gordon gives it off to Campbell, Campbell crossing half court. And when I give it off to Kerr, Kerr drives inside, picks up a dribble, throws it out, and will be knocked out of bounds by Vincent Gervais. with the ball and that's going to be tipped away into the backcourt. So now Campbell bringing the ball back up the floor. Winesville with a 58-22 to 22 lead and we're under two minutes to go in the game. And it's looking like Lanesville will advance here to take on Tecumseh. Who that three-pointer goes in and out right there and now the ball will be knocked out of bounds will be Vincent's Rave ball. Advanced take on to come to who will be earlier was able to test Trinity Lutheran. Waynesville giving standing ovation to some of their players coming out of the game here as Fry brings up the floor, gives it off. Now Fry gets it back, puts up a deep three pointer, it is no good. Battle for the rebound is. Frey gets it again, puts up another three, and gets that one to go. So now Wayne's 
Jacksonville with the ball. It's going to be thrown away right there, but it goes out of bounds and it will be Vincent's Revee ball. As we've got a running clock here. Now Frey with the ball, gets a screen, steps back, puts up another deep three. It's no good. Rebounded by Waynesville with under 30 seconds to go. Now a timeout will be called to get in substitutions. 35 is the and 24 is Now Vincent Gervais with the ball. One final time, Will Swissett kicks it over. Three points up, locked away. And that will be the end of the game. Looks like Ladysville will be advancing to the regional final and take on Tecumseh. We'll have that matchup for you later here tonight at 7.30 here on the West Washington Senator Live. Going to look at some uh, points right here for Ladysville. Shelby Allen with four points. Campbell had 11 points. Kerr had eight points. Gordon had two points, Grimley had eight points, Sonner had 11 points, Kassir had uh, eight points, Warner had six points. For Vincent Trevay, Halter had seven points, Gray had eight points, Wise had five points, Herman had two points, and Willis had three points. So we will see you later tonight as Lanesville will take on Tecumseh in the regional final for a chance to move on to the semi-state game at either Jasper or Jeffersonville. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you later tonight.